A familiar face returns to Louisville men's basketball. Kenny Payne landed today at Bowman Field and he was greeted by some VIP cards. Payne is a former player now looking to turn the program around. WDRB's Brian Martin takes a look at his playing and coaching career. It's a new era of Louisville men's basketball. It's also history in the making. What a day for Louisville cards. They're bringing back a former player who's beloved by his former teammates and guys who played before he got here and after he got here. Kenny Payne replaces Chris Mack as the next men's basketball coach. He's the first black head coach that Louisville's ever had in basketball. Louisville was ahead of the curve in the South in the early to mid 60s when they integrated the program. It got Louisville Athletics Hall of Famers here like Wes Unsealed Jr. and Butch Beard. I know for a number of former players, it was very important for, for Louisville to finally have a black head basketball coach and Kenny Payne's the perfect choice. Payne has worked his way to the top to get this job. From being recruited to play for U of L in 1985 to four years later being drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers. The 6'8 forward played for four seasons before he started his college coaching career. From 2004 to 2009, he worked with the Oregon Ducks. And in 2010, Payne joined UK, earning the respect as one of the game's top assistants. In 2020, Payne left Kentucky to become the top assistant for the NBA's New York Knicks. He was very well respected. The owner, James Dolan, really, really loved him. There weren't many jobs he was going to uh, return to, but his alma mater was one of them. Though the 55-year-old from Lowell, Mississippi has never been a head coach, his ability to develop relationships with players, parents, AAU programs, and so on carries weight. He's a tremendous people person. I think people in Louisville will find that out really quickly. Payne and his wife, Michelle, have two children. Zane, his son, is a basketball player for the Kentucky Wildcats. The university is expected to make this announcement official Friday morning in Louisville. Brian Martin, WDRB News.